Hey, what's up, Decisive Marketers? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Texel to find leads for your business. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested to see more content on digital marketing and e-commerce. So let's step right in. So before we get started, make sure that you understand the cold outreach process. The first step that we are going to be doing is to script and find prospective leads then we would then want to uh, find the their domain names right the url of their website so that we can find their emails and verify those emails and then send drip campaigns uh, to get them to take action okay so this would be the process of the co outreach right but uh, what we are going to be using Texel today is just to script and find prospective leads okay and you want to make sure that you have a different tool for finding contact information such as the email or phone numbers and you can you do that by using tools like uh, hunter you can use that you can use tools like snow you can use tools like tomba right which is the one that i use and for you and you also need a, you want to make use of a different tool for email verification uh, with hunter with snow with tomba they do have email verification uh, features as well but you could also check out uh, you know the the checker you could try clear out you could you could check out uh, true mail those are certain uh, tools specifically meant for email verification and for drip campaigns you can uh, make use of snow you can make use of uh sales rocks you can make use of sales blink right those are a few different tools that you can use for email drip campaigns all right so let's get uh into textile right now okay so i've already created some recipes and i'm going to be showing you what you can do with them but before uh we jumped in uh, you need to understand what kind of business are you running are you running a uh, uh you know a design agency or are you running a um uh development agency right so uh if you are running a development agency right if we click on the uh, website spices over here you will see that there is a particular spice is called check website tech stack automatically right so this is a very useful uh, spice that you can make use of if you are a development agency because uh, you would then know what your prospect is uh using for to build their website all right it could be a um it could be wordpress it could be shopify it could be wix it could be webflow it could be um weebly whichever uh you know tool that they're using to build their website right you would be able to find that out and then you'll be able to offer uh uh the right uh services that they will require okay and if you are a design agency okay you can make use of this tool here it's called uh, attention insight okay attention insight this is a ai heat map tool right so this is kind of similar to like hot jar but it does not uh, give you data of users that are on your site but it uses ai to predict what the heat map would look like okay so this is a great tool for you to tell your prospects where uh, the problem of their website design is okay so that you can use that to you know convert them into a sale okay so this is a great tool uh, if you are reaching out to to uh to prospects that uh, may want to be looking at revamping their website or having a new design for their website or uh, their landing pages and uh, and so on right or, or maybe even you, you could upload uh, any design as well you could upload a poster you can show them hey this is where your design is going wrong and you can make use of in attention insight for that okay so let's get uh, into textile and let's look at the recipe right so make so you could always uh, insert uh, one uh, the, the the check the website text tech uh, spice into any of these 
into any of these uh, recipes that I'm going to be showing here so that uh, you you know it gives you more information about your prospects so that you know how to approach them okay so the first one would be to scrape Google search results to Google Sheets okay so with the Google search results okay uh, in this particular spice itself right so we can take a look over here you can be extracting uh, this information which is the the first one will be the search result uh, link okay so this is the uh, the URL of the search result itself so which is your prospects uh, website right so you can use that information what we are looking for here is uh, usually the the uh, you know the company or uh, the the website that they have or their email that they have so that we can use that to find more information uh, to reach out to the prospect itself okay so ultimately what we want to be doing is to find that email or phone number and with the with the URL we can find their emails okay so this is uh, the search results it, you can grab this information and put it into hunter snow or tomba and it will generate uh, it will give you the information of uh, decision makers within the company itself right so this is the first spice right and then the next recipe is just google maps into google sheets right google maps into google sheets right you could uh if if you guys uh, actually uh, spend some time with Texel, you would actually find that you are able to use this particular spice here, which is uh, find emails and phones from website, or you can use find emails using domain. Okay, you can use any one of these. But what I uh, recommend is that uh, you know you just grab the URL and put it into Tomba. Uh, snow or hunter because then you'll be able to uh, because if you were to use something like this you would actually get a lot of um, uh, what do you call it you get a lot of uh, you know uh, generic emails like uh, info or sales or uh, contact you know those those are generic emails that that don't reach the decision makers those are not the one you want to be getting so you want to make use of google maps search extract uh you search extractor and just grab the url and put it into tomba so that's my recommendation okay so uh so that's google maps and you could use uh you could also scrape Quora profile followers so if you are seeing uh, if you see some influences on Quora if you see some influences on Quora you could then make use of uh, you could extract their profile followers so if someone is a big influencer in uh, let's say the digital marketing in Quora then what you could do is to extract their profile followers right and reach out to them okay with their profile followers uh, you would then be able to find uh, uh, their information and grab them to uh, you know and reach out to them right so the next one is uh, script Twitter followers so you can script Twitter followers as well right grab their profile uh, and uh, you could reach out to them right so that's another way that you could be doing and uh, just take note that if you are working on these ones over here, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, make sure that you are using the desktop version of uh, Texel. If not, if, if you are using the cloud, make sure that you are working with a proxy. Okay, because uh, with these social media sites, they have very strict, uh, uh, they, they, they monitor if you are actually botting or using automation tools on their website okay so that's not what they are actually uh, looking for so the next one is extract facebook page search okay extract facebook page search so what this does is that you actually uh, search for a keyword onto the facebook search uh, facebook search bar 
Okay, so if you go onto Facebook, you would see you see a search bar right here. So I could put something like design. Okay, and I could click on uh, pages over here and it will show all these pages right here. Okay, and you could use Texel to uh, extract the Facebook search results. Okay, then uh, you know, reach out to that to these people uh, for uh, you know, for to 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 convert them to a lead. Okay, and you could use uh, LinkedIn attendees as well. Okay, so this spice here it's a little bit more uh, complex, right? So there's a few steps over here. So the first step is actually to extract the attendees from a LinkedIn event. Okay, so this so they attend an event. So it's a digital marketing event. You know they attend. Then I will reach out to them, and I uh, I would extract their their uh, the the list of attendees and scrape their profile, right? Scrape their profile and find uh, email uh, using their pro uh, using their profile right okay and then uh, and then I will be able to send emails to them okay and uh, the next one is script LinkedIn group so if it's a group let's say digital marketing group okay then you can go in to the group right reach out uh, and, and extract the group members script their profile then find their emails okay of course if you are able to script the profile and get the company url uh, that will also be able to help you to find more uh emails as well okay and the last one over here is to extract slack users so you could join a slack community that is related to the niche that or, or related to the the industry that you are you are focusing on you can then extract the users okay and you'll be able to find their emails as well right so if you just click here you will be able to immediately get the email id of uh, what they use to register on slack right so these are the few ways that you could be using uh, Texel to lead gen for your business right so today i've shared with you a uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight different ways that you could be getting leads for your business right so and that's all for today if you like this video uh if you enjoyed what i've shared with you today make sure you click the like button and leave a comment below on what uh or on any other new ways that you are able to to create using Texel for lead generation and uh, let me know what you want to see uh, in my next video as well right and that's all for today bye bye